Hello and welcome to Coffee with Carrie. Thank you for stopping by today to see what I wanted to talk about. It's soulmates. Do we believe in soulmates? It's a really romantic idea, but also a really scary and sad idea if there's just only one person in the entire world who was meant for us. How do we go about finding this person? And I think that maybe if we assume we have or don't have our soulmate, we're making some other decisions around that that may be influencing our relationships and not always in a positive way. If that's at all interesting, stick around because that's what we're talking about today. So it's a really romantic idea to think there was someone who is meant specifically for us, who's waiting to meet us and we need to find them. However, if you think about it, there's almost 8 billion people in the world. That's a pretty big task to set out and hope we find this person or they find their way to us and then we bump into them on Bumble or at our local pub or coffee shop. So while I understand the romanticism around the idea, it doesn't strike me as a practical scenario because there are a few things we're gonna probably do differently if we think that there is a soulmate in our future. Number one is we may not be as proactive getting to know somebody once we have an inkling that they may in fact not be our soulmate because there's perhaps one thing about them that we think for sure my soulmate wouldn't have that or be like that. So we may be dismissing perfectly great options thinking that our soulmate is going to be perfect in everything that we desire. I think taking that a step further, you're in a relationship with someone you think perhaps is your soulmate and things get a little shaky or require a little more effort, a little more work, a little more compromise. And instead of working harder to figure out what's wrong and fix it, the person who thinks there's a soulmate could be thinking to themselves instead, I made a wrong choice. This, in fact, is not my soulmate. I need to get rid of this person because my soulmate is still out there somewhere waiting for me to show up. And I'm stuck in th these four walls with this guy. <laughs> So I think it will keep you from working at a relationship that could be a really good relationship. And as we know, relationships take work. So I think even if it was your soulmate, it's not gonna be smooth sailing all the time. Relationships require effort and change and caring and compromise. And I would hope that thinking there's a soulmate out there isn't gonna prevent us from doing that work. I imagine you could go through a lot of perfectly great people continuing to look for something even better, something even more perfect, instead of actually working on getting to know people in the earlier stages of dating and getting to the point where there is that intimacy that does bond you together. That could possibly be a big mistake that keeps you from getting to the important stages of relationship building. Which leads me to the idea that I think someone can become your soulmate. Someone can be the person you need them to be and be a great fit for you in every way. But that's not always an automatic knowing. I think getting to know somebody and learning what they like, what they don't like, how they, I mean, think about love languages. If my love language is pers you know, physical touch, this person's love language is quality time, it's gonna take a while for him to figure out that I need him to hold my hand, not just be there with me every Saturday or give up his Sunday with the guys to hang out with me, giving me quality time. I would rather we be cuddling than him dragging me along with him and his friends to go do something. So I think that it's a growing process between two people to become soulmates, to become the perfect partner for someone else. It requires a great understanding, a great knowing of someone, an openness, uh, sharing, and getting to that intimacy where you trust someone to know all your thoughts and all your feelings. So I think there is hope that there are soulmates out there, but I think we probably have to cre create that soulmate for ourselves. So I'm not here to tell you to not believe in your soulmate or to think you have to manifest this soulmate for yourself. Maybe one in 7.7 .7 billion people, there is one for you who's going to walk into your grocery store and be squeezing the same cantaloupe 
next to you. Perhaps it could happen. I don't really know that I think it would happen for me, but I just want to make sure that you're not going to experience what I think would be sad, thinking that you could miss out on meeting your soulmate by never being in the right place at the right time. There's so many places we can be. And I do believe that deep connections are worth waiting for, also worth working at, and worth investing in. So if you find somebody who has most of what you're looking for, I encourage you to see if they could become your perfect soulmate with a little coaching, a little communication, and a little work from both of you. Because I really don't believe you have to settle. Not finding a soulmate or not even believing in soulmates doesn't mean the opposite, which is going to mean that you don't have that kind of soul connection. I think you should hold out and wait for that and or build that for yourself. Do you believe in soulmates? I would love for you to leave me a comment down in the comment section and let me know. I appreciate you stopping by today to have this conversation. I will hope you'll subscribe to the channel, hit that ring bell maybe, and then you're notified every time I upload a new episode. And I will look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, have a good one.